Good morning, good morning, good morning again, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We're going back to that horrible world known as the JRC. But before we do the disclaimers and why I took so long to do this video, is because I have a favorite woodweed necklace. It's supposed to be a guy's. So it's long. So I was getting ready to detox before I did my next video, right? I take a few minutes between each video because I have to because this stupid burns. And I started to get up. It got caught in my legs while I was getting up and snap. Yeah. I'm annoyed. So now I had to go and go back to the store where I originally got it and order a new one, which is going to take a month and a half to get here, and I'm annoyed. <sighs> I used to have a metal one that I repaired repeatedly. It was starting to look opie there, but I guess life, right? <sighs> All right, to the disclaimers. In the description box, folks, you're going to find the link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroplastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in the so-called, in regards to, blah, I can't even talk, the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much. They have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Well, folks, Neuroclastic has refused, so you know the drill. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. We also have linked in their Neuroclastic's public statement regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding, folks, in case the JRC actually has the balls to see through with their threat. We also have linked in there the Ozark's first article in regards to the Cape boarding school slash now known as Stone for Help boarding school situation. This is a so-called Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri that takes in so-called troubled male teens that has him pending over 21 civil lawsuits, claims, and allegations leveled against it. All thus far that have been substantiated by the Missouri Department of Social Services, and they include the following. Sodomy, rape, sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking, starvation, and that's just for starters. You have one former staff member arrested by the FBI and another, a doctor, still on the premises, up on multiple, again, substantiated claims of sodomy, rape, and sexual assault of the boys there. You have an attorney general too busy picking a fight with public libraries and chasing after drag queens to actually protect the kids from the real proven pedophiles in this state. And you've got a governor off its nuts. So please share that article and send help. I can't afford the GTFO. I, I, I don't know. Send help. Send help. All right. We got the other pertinent links to the Stomp the Shocks campaign as well, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, Jennifer Masumbo's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses, a clip out of the seven hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCollins back in 2002, the templates, and the ever present self explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of peoples with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, folks, please go ahead and use those headphones. This channel is marked not for children for a reason. We use profanity on occasion and talk about dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger and they are watching this, very obviously, parental supervision is advised. Trigger warning, folks. Get your calming tea. We are to about to descend once more into the mad ravings of the lunatic mind known as Dr. Matthew Israel. You're going to hear gaslighting, lies, pseudoscience, victim blaming, abuse and torture apologensia, all from a man with a massive ego and even larger God complex, or be prepared for the arrogant stupid, all right? Okay, this one's going to be short and sweet, folks. Professional disability organizations like TASH have come out against any use of adversives. TASH is an advocacy organization. There are many professional organizations that support the use of adversives, as noted in Section 2K of this document above. 
That's a lie, doctor. That's what he does. See, us advocates, us fighting for the kids to not be tortured, we're the bad guys, right? Right? We want to save kids. We don't think they should be tied up like Andre McCollum was and shocked for hours on end on 85 MPH simply for how they were born. We don't feel like it's okay to starve kids in your contingency food program. We do not approve of your bizarre behavioral rehearsal lessons, and we think your whole school is a joke. So we're, we're the bad guys, right? Right? We're the bad guys. What he won't tell you, but I will, is the organizations that are the largest providers for services for people with developmental disabilities and mental health in the United States. Allow me to name them. Number one, the largest, the largest bar none in the entirety of the United States. The ARC stands against you, doctor. The ARC oversees literal millions of consumers to whom they provide services every year, including school kids, adults, elderly. You have ARC. Who else do we have? We have Easter Seals, who are also a service provider. You have other organizations that are of the more fundamental. You've got your March of Dimes, which stands against them. NAMI stands against them. Mental health, folks. You have Burl. Burl's out here. Burl is the bar none largest provider for mental health services for the southwest regions of the U.S. Bar none. As far as any individual who is seeking an autism diagnosis when they are a child, more than likely, they've been to Burl. Okay? So Burl stands against them. Judavine stands against them. Judavine is one of the largest providers for specifically people with, who are autistic, bar none. Bar none. Bar none. None hear me. Abilities First, which acts both as an advocacy organization as well as a provider of services, stands against them. Nova, a provider of services for kids with various developmental disabilities, stands against them. Let's see here. I'm trying to think off the top of my head because there's been so many at this point. See here, we've mentioned Burl, we've mentioned Ark, we've mentioned Easter Seals, we've mentioned Nova. We've good. You see where I'm going here, folks, right? Organizations that see thousands of consumers and provide various services, transition and otherwise, all over the United States have come out in droves to protest this place. That should say something. You have groups like Autism Speaks who supported them originally but ended up dropping them as a provider and speaking out against them. ABAI, their biggest supporter, dropped them as soon as the end of last year. Let's see here. You see where I'm going with, right? It's not just us advocates, doctor. It's medical organizations. Speaking of medical organizations, let's talk about two of the biggest in my region here who've been known to trash this man, Cox and Mercy. Both, both of those. Cox, Mercy, Oxford, many hospice organizations. Who are we kidding here, doctor? Who are we kidding here? Fact, let's do a little research here. I apologize in advance. You're going to get a close-up of my ugly mug. Deal with it. A 
ASAN, obviously, but you know, they don't care about us. They don't care about ASAN. Because you're the advocacy. What do you know? I work the field, jackass. That's how I know. Let's see here. Look at that. There's the arc. As you can see, we have spoke on that before. Occupy Judge Rotenberg Center. Oh, but we're advocacy, so we don't count. The Commonwealth Magazine. Boston Review. NARPA, National Association for Rights Protection and Advocacy. Let me guess, advocacy, right, doctor? So they don't count. ProPublica. If you notice one glaring thing that you've noticed, Scholars Strategy Network. Are you noticing something big here? Why are all these activist centers? Why is ADAPT? Why is ARC? Why is TASH? Why is even, God forbid, the hate group Autism Speaks even finally dropping them back in 2013 and coming out against them? Lawyers. Learn Behavior, that's a provider. March of Dimes. You see where I'm going with this, don't you folks? Is it kind of obvious to you? It is not just us advocates with autism who just don't know what's good for us that's protesting this man. Everyone is. Paul did the homework, he could tell you. Then he's back in his room. Roomies, what can I say, right? The point is, it is not just us, doctor. You keep telling that lie, and I'm afraid it's just not true. The ARC alone, literally alone, without the others named, should make you think twice before sending your kids to this man's school. They provide services to millions of consumers every year, on every stage of development. I know because I've worked very closely with them for many years. Organizations like Judavine, who've been around for years, Nova, Burl. It's not just the advocacy organizations that just don't understand. Nah, doctor. Everyone's condemning you. The few hangers on that you used to have have dropped you. Says a lot, doesn't it? You can't sit there and lie and point the finger at us and call us the devil when ARC is standing against you loudly, publicly, repeatedly for years. And they have, folks, since 2008 when that lawsuit was first filed. They were one of the first as well as the one of the biggest organizations to join us. Says a lot, doesn't it? We're going to close on that note. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time. And as always, we here at Spilling Tea do hope you have a good one. Bye-bye, everyone.